uh, for the skin. Now this is something, it's kind of your own discretion. Uh, hit recovery is like magic defense. I'll talk about magic defense at the same time since we're doing that. So the waste and the skin can be hit recovery. Um, hit recovery is actually a just a gigantic skill. I have 771 and I would say that this doesn't do anything for me. If it does, it's very little. Uh, you need thousands of hit recovery for it to really start racking up. So it's one that you have to look, you have to concentrate on your, you know, your magic stone, your... I actually don't know what normally has hit recovery on it. I'm sure there's some... Amulets, maybe? I actually don't know. Uh, so look it up, find out where the hit recovery comes from, because you need to stack a lot of it. And if you are stacking it, then yes, go ahead and get the hit recovery skin. Because uh, you can get your hit recovery up above a thousand, maybe two thousand. I really have no metric for this. I just know seven hundred doesn't help me very much. Um, and you can actually get pretty amazing amounts of uh, hit recovery to the point where you can actually interrupt with your Marilyn Rose in the middle of other people's combos. That would be really good. I did not go for that. I went for the magic uh, reduction. Reason being, we have heavy armor. Heavy armor has great physical defense, we have five pieces of it, you can put pluses on all of them, assuming infinite gold, which, man, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, so, um, if you had a lot of gold, you could get all of these to plus ten, plus twelve, plus whatever, uh, and plus your vitality kicks in, uh, we get a lot more vitality than spirit. Uh, we get spirit on all of our armor, that's for sure, but we get vitality on the armor itself, and you can see 29 vitality, uh, 31 spirit. Well, wow, I've never actually looked at this. I guess I should look before I start talking, but... Okay, for some of these pieces, it's reversed. Like, the chest has a lot of spirit. Weird. Uh, but you see this has 19 to 18. This has, uh... 29 to... Anyway, long story short here is that we get less of the magic, uh, defense. So you can see, with my plus 3% magic reduction, which is a lot of magic defense, uh, that's like, I think that's like a plus 7 amulet, an extra, um... I have the same magic defense as I have physical defense, and I like to keep them even like that, especially since magic attacks tend to do more damage. Physical attacks will combo more, magic attacks will do more outright damage. So I'm trying to keep my defenses pretty even, um, just that way I have massive defense to both of them. I went with the evasion, obviously it's better to dodge than get hit, but if you're going to get hit you might as well reduce the you know fire damage or whatever, but this is another one. You can see I have 30 in all of these, and like, four in fire resist. This is worthless. Um, if I remember correctly, and if they haven't changed it, they changed a lot in Rebirth. I enjoy it, but it also means, because they don't, you know, release an instruction manual, that if you don't just hang out on the forums all the time, you have no idea what's going on, and even then, you're getting information from people who may or may not know what they're talking about. Um, usually they do, though. It's... it's anyway, um, so... You need about five times this, you need 150 magic resist in order to get it to zero. So I got maybe one-fifth uh, damage resist right now from these, but I would have to stack it higher to be better than, you know, 20%. So that's 20% reduction, whereas this magic defense here is 40%. Yes, they stack, yes, that's really good, uh, but you really have to focus on one, you can't just, you know, dabble in all of them. So I would not benefit much from, you know, 15 more fire resist. It really wouldn't. It seems like it would. It's, you know, brings me from a fifth to a third. I don't know. That's 10% more fire resist. Not really worth it. No, and you could just evade the fire altogether. You can evade magic. Um, so, the evasion rate that I have right now is 7.8. That's pretty high, I think. Um, we don't really have a lot of gear. We got heavy armor. It's not, you know, cloth and leather. I don't know which one has evasion, but I'm pretty sure one of those do. So, our evasion rate's pretty low, so anything you can do to help evasion, it's just a, you know, a chance, and that's all you need. Everybody else, uh, when you're fighting, with the exception of very few classes, Berserkers, Exos, um, it's up to them not to miss, so it's not really a big deal. This isn't like you're playing a Ranger where it's up to you not to miss. This is up to them not to miss, because if they miss, we're just gonna railroad them. I mean, we just hit them like a truck with every hit, so it's up to them not to screw up, because if they screw up, we basically auto-win. Um, it's getting to the point now, uh, now that I've attained a certain level of skill, I feel like, if they screw up, I will win the fight. Just without question. There's just no chance of them winning the fight. So, if they don't screw up, it's my job to make them screw up, which is why I say the mental game is such uh, big importance in this. 
But anyway, so the evasion really helps. I could I could definitely get behind, you know, hit hit recovery or uh, magic defense or whatever you guys decide to put in it. As long as you know that hit recovery and uh, magic, uh, the resists, really need to be stacked high. Alright, um, not to let this get away from me, we'll get to the next one. Of course this one is a max HP. Max HP is the only one you need for PvP. This again, uh, MP doesn't help you at all, and I forget what the other one is, I think it's hit recovery again. Uh, won't help unless you're stacking it. And even then, it really won't help. We, we saw before, plus 400, actual 1500, means I get a, uh, well I can just see here. You can watch my HP drop by 6,000 points. So this one avatar gives me 6,000 points, which is a huge deal. In PvP, anyway. Come on, the timer's not that long. Alright, well, I'll re-equip that later, apparently. Um, finally, we have the boots. I go for movement speed, because at one point, I didn't. I mean, you can see here... Oh, they're all movement speed now. I don't have that avatar anymore. Um, the Halloween one is the first one that I got with movement speed, and I learned from that. That was amazing. Um, before, I had strength, because I figured, you know, strength stacking, more damage, that's awesome. Oh no sir, movement speed is amazing in this game. Uh, being able to move around and dodge, even at our low rate, is very much worth it. So there you go, so those are the avatars I chose and why I chose them. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me re-equip my avatar here. That's funny. Alrighty, well that should do it. And I uh, hope, hope that helps you guys. I know some people on the forums keep popping up with, you know, what avatar should I get for PvP and what should I do? do about it. I hope that helps you. Um, you also get a bitching movement town thing that I'm enjoying now for the first time, and I wish that there was a darker hair because... God, I'm such a chick. I do not like the hair on this character right now. It bugs me. I mean, there's so many cool models out there, and this would not look good with a hat, and Bintara needs a hat. So hey, if you guys are enjoying the videos, let me know. I will go ahead and wrap this one up here. Have a good one.